Stick around to the end of the video for your chance to win the all new Drake Cutter Scout. Their prize includes a game package and a lifetime insurance as well. Special thanks to CIG and full details at the end of the video. Today along with our tax we wanted to go try some more practical bombing with a little more precision. But the first order of business was giving the turret operator an actual job title. The bomb chucker. <laughs> That's my official name, I'm sticking with it. And the rear turret is watching the bomb fall behind the other bomb chucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Before leaving the station, we get some strange omens that today might be a bumpy ride. That was weird. Yeah, really. <laughs> what was that about? I don't know. I did it again. We figured that Ghost Hollow would make a good practice site for testing the temperamental bomb site of the ship, but as Arathor needed to travel here from Artcorp, I'd be hitching a ride down with Artax aboard the Scorpius. The Scorpius was actually the perfect interim ship because after our first session I wanted to get some keybinds set up for moving the turret to make the experience more comfortable, and the Scorpius shares the retractable turret style of the A1. Hey, all my weapons are powered up this time. Oh, it's repositioning turret, okay. I'd actually make a few hopefully helpful notes about this keybind, or my experiences with it anyway, as at first, while waiting in the skies near Ghost Hollow, it did not seem to work at all. It's not working for me right now, anyway. Oh, the top and bottom? Yeah. But it turns out that you must hold shift along with your assigned key or button to make it work. Oh, it's shift S to change the goddamn turret position, okay. The keybind works, you've just got to hold shift to do it. Uh. But at least I know now. This would also be my first real opportunity to get a good look at the recent edition of Turret Camera Zoom. Turret can zoom in, that's crazy. That's so cool. Like for this kind of situation where you're looking to see if there's any movement down there, the zoom is amazing. Probably put it in gyro mode now and zoom in. Like as you're flying around now, attacks, I can like zoom all the way down. Just check for oh, okay. any movement that's so that's so much better wow it didn't take long for our one to arrive oh that's earth okay. it's mr wind fire do you think we need to land for me to get out of the ship and into yours you're calling if you want to. i don't, I don't think it'd be a good idea to do it in the air <laughs> no you don't think so <laughs> <laughs> i'll just hover underneath and hope you land on top i still don't think that would help no, we definitely be landing to make the switch. That is. Okay, pockets. God, the wind. The wind is real bad. But, you know what? I made it aboard. It struck me that there was a lot of space available in the combined bomb bay and ramp room. You could probably actually get, like, a couple of vehicles in here. Yeah, I think you can fit. What is a little Jeep vehicle? Wait, let's jump in your co pilot seat. Back in the same co pilot seat. Is the box still there, by the way? I don't think so, because I think I, had, uh, I think I had to claim this the other day. As I began attempting to use the remote turret, though, I'd have some trouble with the turret position keybind once again. Mm. Right. The keybind for repositioning turret doesn't work on this ship, it only works on the Scorpius. And Arathorn would almost kill us both immediately with an accidental bomb release. Oh, crap. Oh, oh no, we are we about to die. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh my... <laughs> <laughs> are we okay? Whoops. <laughs> Were you off the ground, our attacks? <laughs> yeah, I was. Thank God. Okay, the, the keybind does work. After you've cycled it the first time, you have to use the button for the first one. Ready to observe. But at last, we were ready for Arathorn to get some practice runs in what we believe to be a completely empty ghost hollow. My job would be to observe the drops and relay the damage assessment to Arathorn so he could make fractions on his timing or approach. Get the bongo. See it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Arathorn, that was such a good shot. Wow. That yeah. was so good. That was so on target. You are good at this. Working on it. <laughs> we mentioned in the last video that the bombing computer was not working on these ships, but Arathorn was able to get it working here, so I'm not exactly sure what the condition of that system is. 
I'm using the um, targeting computer. That one was a uh, little bit off. It was a little bit to the north, I guess, of Ghost Hollow. I've got Ghost Hollow locked on the... Uh, oh, is it working now? Is it working? Yep. Now the bomb targeter calculates a trajectory, I guess, but I don't think that any accounting of terrain obstacles like mountains is factored into this calculation. Oh, that one hit the mountain. Yeah, the bomb site didn't work very good that time. Okay, eyes on the bomb. Two bombs, holy shit. Ooh. Second bomb was on target. Well, oh no. Well, yeah. Second bomb was more on target. So the first okay. bomb, was, the first bomb was short. Second bomb was slightly long. This the mountain, basically. I think, I think, it, I think the firing solution would be correct if there wasn't the obstacle that is a giant mountain. You know, if you come in because... from the north where there are no mountains, because like right now we're going east west, right? Which is like the you know goes hollow is east west is like mountain mountain. This time we made approach from a direction with less extreme elevation changes along the path. Oh my god, perfect, direct hit. Second bomb was direct hit. First bomb was actually much closer this time, but I feel like the the gap between the bombs, which I know you can't do anything about, is what caused the inaccuracy there, you know? Yeah, the gap is the problem. I think if you're kind of coming at more of a dive, it doesn't really matter the releases because basically they'll come in on top of each other. The, the initials um, on their on their side, then, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I would have liked to test our own dive trajectory theory with multiple bombs, but we were down to our last. Yeah, I've only got one left. The final bomb again hit a mountain, but we were ready to move on to actual targets anyway. We'd need to rearm before we could go attack anything else, but I remembered reading comments on the last day one video, with several people suggesting taking out turrets of hostile bunkers during missions. Now that the keybind is working, that makes life a lot more comfortable. I mean, we should go get more bombs, obviously, but I'm sure there are things that we can do. Oh! Someone did say that, yeah, if we do, like, if we do bunker missions against criminals, at least, the bombs can be used to take out the turrets on the bunker. We'll do a contraband mission. Oh, oh yeah. I'd warn the team about being a grenade hazard as well. Yes, I have grenade on here, but there is a, a medium chance I won't kill one of you with it. A 30% chance, oh, good. I'd say. Good enough for me. <clears throat> we also learned something extra about the A1 shields and weapon capacitors earlier in this day. Oh, Vegdas was in earlier on Arathon. He mm -hmm. said that the shield faces and the capacitor are both bugs. Oh, okay. That's they, good. Neither of them are intended to be that way. Yeah, because right now it's just so quick to punch through. I know a lot of people, including us, have found the weapon capacitors and shield strength of the current ship to be very lacking, but from what we've heard at least these are going to be altered to something more appropriate for a ship this size and roll. 22, As we pulled into a mining outpost to rearm, it would once again fall to me to do the restocking and refueling of the ship. It is me, I'm gonna be stuck. Yep. The bombs were only stocking two at a time, so I'd have to click through it several times. Stocking them two at a time, because it's costing me 9,000. We are now full of bombs. Alright. So now we were ready to take on the bunker turrets. Alright, I'll just jump to the area. Okay. Now, we did have Artax scout ahead to make sure that the turrets were actually streamed into the game. I'm gonna try to dive bomb it again. Okay. Let's all bomb go. That looks like it might be on target. Yeah, that one hit two of the turrets for sure. One of the turrets is still active. Okay. Oh, that's good too. Both bombs hit the same spot. Okay, that's cool. 
Arathorn's dive technique had worked, though his next drop illustrates the importance of timing on a drop. Yeah, that one's a bit long. Oh my god, that was, that was good. I think you got it. I think you got it. <laughs> that was really well aimed. You're like the master bombardier. <laughs> it's a very niche thing in this game right now. All turrets were confirmed destroyed, and we could safely set down right outside the bunker. Go destroy some narcotics. Hopefully not blow any of you up with the, uh, the grenade that I share, hopefully. Is there something down there? Everything else is probably not that valuable. Yeah. Let's do this. The enemy had wandered a lot closer to the elevator than we were accustomed to, but it appeared that we'd still caught them by surprise. Oh. <laughs> What's he doing there? Two on the right. One of them is a civilian. He's dead. There's another one on the right. Coming right now. <laughs> right. Maybe clear. The objective here is to destroy all of the drugs. Even if we clear the hostiles though, more will arrive. One right. Bring the drugs out of here. The grenade launcher is by far the fastest way to clear out the pallets of drugs, but great care must be taken not to catch it friendly in the blast when firing. We're all clear so far. Yeah. I learned a while ago not to shoot grenades over these railings, but I'd learn of another update to them. Ooh, you can vault over those shit. Didn't realise that. That's cool, but it was unexpected. Enemy reinforcements were inbound. Could've just... Oh. Found one. Guy upstairs. Got him. Elevator. Got him. Good. They're everywhere. Just yeah. Oh, oh, shots coming from upstairs. Okay, run. Got one. Just doesn't have a So no, we were close to clearing the place out. Okay, now oh, there we go. they don't have a count. It's not nearly as many because no. it used to be there was like 600 of them. We'll shoot these up here. There's only one left. It's in the wall. Can I get it? Yeah, I can get it, yeah. It looks like you got it. Um, is that it? Yep, yeah, get it. Well, that's much quicker. Now we can loot the place. Yeah, that was quicker. It was fun. Oh, yeah, having, little... having enemies that come back is way more fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it just makes it more exciting because you, you're not like, okay, it's empty, you know, we just blow everything up. Has the car not been updated at all, do you know? I haven't tried it. I wanted to test it, but a problem with the iron sight would throw me initially. Elevator up here. Iron sights are all kinds of fucked up on the Ikana right now. Fortunately, a reflex sight was close at hand. Take this reflex sight. Oh, yeah, this dude there. Where? In the, this oh, the other there, here. He's, he's dead, yeah. Got it. I still had some questions about the A1. I wonder what the blast radius is on the, bom on the bombs, if anyone knows yet. 100 meters. The Kana was going into the weapon rack of the ship. Oh, you got to open it. Yeah, okay. And I discovered there was actually some shared storage on the ship after all. Yeah. There is external storage. There's external storage above the beds. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. So I'm going to check some Kana mags in there. There we go. We were going to take on another of these missions, the fact that they are lawful missions taking on criminals means that destroying the turrets is always legal. We've got to root out the drug problem that's plaguing Bikerattack. 
Arathorn was running low on bombs, though. How many bombs you got, Arathorn? Three. That'll be more than enough, right? Yes. Game face. Game face on, yeah. Yep. It all comes down to this. <laughs> I've got faith in you, Arathorn. I've got some faith in myself, so we'll see. <laughs> We were making another attacking run. Kid bomb. I do see him, yeah. He's close to target. Oh my god, that was a direct hit on the actual bunker itself. It was like on the roof of the bunker. That was your best drop yet, honestly. You definitely got one turret, but I don't. These other ones aren't. Don't seem to be active. Their remaining turrets were not present. They could very well spawn in late though. Should I park below the ridge just in case? Yeah, it's probably a good idea, yeah, just, you know. I didn't use the computer that time. You used force. Yep. I switched off my targeting computer. Everyone would be proud of you. Parking the ship down here was insurance against turret respawns, and we could head inside the bunker with some assurance the ship was safe. to support. Okay. One in the middle. One on left. Okay, crossing the fire. I'm covering right. Right looks clear so far. Left is clear, civilian. Stairs are clear. Civilian around the corner. Civilian at the bottom of the stairs. Elevator closed. Okay, I'm gonna hook to the right. Oh, contact right. Contact front. But in the server room, grenades would almost be my downfall once again. Fire away! Give up hell! Oh, God. Oh, 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 I'm down. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm down as I pulled the pin on a grenade. <laughs> At least, I guess, the grenade didn't go off, that's good. That guy was... He's, he's super overpowered. It took 40 rounds. I'm gonna get you back up. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, thank or, you. Okay. Thank you, appreciate that, guys. Civilian. Contact in the, um, drug, in the back room. Took a lot of shots. I think I was hitting them in the backpack, now that they're wearing those. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're armor backpacks. shield. Yeah. We'd begin clearing out the drugs. But I'd not brought enough ammo along this time. I'm out, I'm out of grenade ammo. For now. There are way less parcels of drugs in these missions than in the old days though, so completing them with a normal gun is also now comfortable. Yeah, it. it actually worked. Two in a row, the narcotics mission. Well, I know, right? What's going on? Did they improve the animation on that? That actually know. looks much better. Did it? Wait, did it really? Yeah, I thought so. Given how well these missions were going today compared to last time, I wanted to try a very different type of mission. I'm throwing a curveball out there. This is not going to give us a lot, a lot of money, right? And it is nothing to bomb. But we're going to go and try and find a missing person in a cave. Oh. I'm not sure I've ever been able to find anybody in a cave. No, 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 exactly. I chose this mission because I have never actually completed one. I have attempted them several times, but never actually found a missing person or a body in the caves. Would today be a different story? We needed to travel to a cave here on Microtech to find out. As we drew in closer, the marker vanished, but locating the cave entrance was thankfully very easy. You find the entrance? There oh, it is. I yeah, I see it as well. But would the A1 fit in this cave? Okay, cool. You gotta go in and then point straight down. 
maybe too wide, maybe we're too wide, but I don't know, it's getting bigger as we get closer, which is how, you know, reality works. <coughs> Just. Descending would also be a tight squeeze. Go forward. Mm -hmm. oh, no, now, now it's thrust down, thrust down now. You're the ship, um, that way, that's it, yeah, you're good. Stop yawing there, and now then I'll thrust down again. Getting out is going to be an interesting experience. Forward a little bit. Room next to me. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Let's go search for our missing friend. There's always something very impressive, isn't there, about being in caves like this in this game? Like bringing ships down into caves, you know, and how big... It's incredible. Yeah, it really is. It's so cool. Like, when I was looking at the ship from the external view then, it, it, it's like quite like a tight squeeze to get through some of it. But then you look at it from the ground, and it is just, like, insane. It's huge. Oh, there's a hole here. Yeah, there should be. I'm pretty sure that it goes both sides. Now we can begin searching for our missing friend. So we're looking for the dude who is lost down here. Why are people getting lost in caves? It'd be funny if everyone who got lost in caves was searching for the previous person that got lost in a cave. These caves were a lot more elaborate than those I'd visited in the past though. Yeah, you got it. Look at you. Yeah, you can... You can jump and climb so much easier now. We've all we all learned parkour over the summer, basically. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> I was there. Um, this is a major jumping puzzle. I think I'm good. I've never seen that jumping puzzle. But this this all feels very new. Yeah, it does. Up ahead, we encounter several very large chambers dotted with deep chasms. Careful, there are holes here to fall into. And we didn't exactly know what to look out for. I've never, I've never, I've never found one, so I don't know. I've, I've tried it. But I'm going to venture into one of the pits because I figure if someone gets lost in a cave, they've probably fallen into a pit. That makes sense. So we'd start diligently searching all of the deep chasms in the chambers of this cave, but every time we found nothing. I was beginning to suspect it might be a bug's mission, but at least we were not missing out on a huge payment if we failed. We don't feel too heartbroken if we don't find them. The mission only pays 4,000 credits. The only other pit I found is over this way. This would be the perfect place for it. It would be the place not to dispose of a body, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll put out a call to people watching to ask them if anyone has ever completed one of these missions. I was thinking about what you said, and like I've tried these several times, and I don't remember ever having completed one ever. Yeah, I made it. Look at the one. I think completing that should definitely get you the uh, finding the guy, right? I mean, it's like it's a puzzle. You figured it out. You've jumped over some holes. He was yeah. a missing person. <laughs> That's how real life works. Yep. Mm -hmm. But as we returned to the chasm containing our ships, I was just not ready to give up. Wait, what's over here? What's this? And dotted around the main chamber here were other little offshoots of cave route. Some were just dead ends, but some were caves in their own right. Oh, you found another entrance. Yeah, there's a. Right, and we'd immediately stumble into a jumping puzzle of sorts. Oh, there's a. Crazy jump, jumping puzzle, which I think you're on the other side of. Arthur. Yeah, I can't. I can't get any further. It's really small over here. 
and I can't crawl. So as far as I can tell, that's the end of that. There is a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drop down to this hole. I know I shouldn't, but I figure if I drop down to the hole. Oh my God! I found a dude. What? No. I found someone. <laughs> there is you found a legit... him. That is hilarious. Is... He was right by the ships. <laughs> Check it out. There's a dude right there. Yep. Oh there he yeah. Is. He's got a backpack. I, know. I guess Never. this is like we completed two drug missions and a find the dude mission. Like the missions are working so much better, I guess, than they were before. Oh so yeah. What do you know? Found the dude. Um, first time ever. It's a Shiny lights. Yeah. We made our way back to the ships victorious, but now we still had to get out of the cave. Now the fun part. What's yeah, I'll let you try to get out of here first. God, this is going to be hard work for us, I think. Good. Okay, that's good. There's a little ledge there with like a cave, that's weird. Other way, other way. You'll see the entrance. Oh, it looks way wider in the light. <laughs> what I think we learned during all of this is that the A1 really can serve as an all-round adventuring ship as well as being a dedicated bomber. If what we were told about the weapon capacitors and shields being a bug was true, then the ship is only going to get even better as well. And I for one will be very much looking forward to taking it out again as well as actually learning to do some bombing myself. And with the A1 in mind, I would like to announce the winner of our LTI A1 giveaway, complete with game package and ardent paint. With the comment you see on screen right now, Mr. Morello is our winner. Congratulations to you, Mr. Morello. I have left a reply to you on YouTube. But for everyone else, fret not, because we have another LTI ship to give away, complete with game package. This time it is the all new Drake Cutter Scout. It is a ship we'll cover in a video over the weekend, and one I must admit I am growing quite fond of. But to be in a chance to win one yourself, just hit the like button on this video and leave a comment below and again a winner will be chosen in the next couple of days. Good luck everyone and a huge thank you to CIG for sending us such cool prizes to pass along. Of course I also want to thank our very generous patrons, without these people none of the videos would be possible. YouTube advertising revenue is a lot lower than you'd think so for a lot of channels patron support is how they get by. I want to thank each of you for continuing to support the channel and in this video I especially want to thank Bootneck1664 and Jonathan Barkus who both recently became supporters of the channel over on Patreon. Thank you both for the very generous support, it really does go a long way to keeping the channel going and I enormously appreciate it, thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.